Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 FPS series. In today's video we are going to be taking a look at how we can start to implement our second weapon into Unreal Engine 4 and the way that we're going to be setting this up or starting it off rather is going to be with a simple weapon pickup that the player is going to be able to walk onto and once they pick, once they walk onto it it's going to pick it up and from there they are going to be able to equip it. Now I've already got a weapon model and a texture and everything, make sure you've downloaded that in the download link in the description, it's all part of the latest FPS assets. So we've got the heads up display side of things already, so when you press 1 or 2 it changes the icon and the name of your weapon, so what we need to do now then is create a pickup item that's going to allow the player to actually you know, use that second weapon. So we don't want the player to be able to press 2 on their keyboard and use the M4A1 if they haven't actually picked it up yet. So let's go ahead and start doing that. Now if you go over to your FPS assets and in the weapon folder you've got two new files in there, M4A1 and M4A1 underscore diffuse. Go into your weapons folder inside of your blueprints, add another folder and just call it M4A1 just like that and just leave it next to your AK-47. Open it up and then click, drag and drop your two files in and then just make sure you import your weapon as a skeletal mesh. Don't worry about the rest of the settings, just leave those exactly as they are. Give it a couple of seconds and from there it will import your texture for your diffuse and it's also going to import the model as well and we can start setting things up with firing and the attachment and all that later on. So. We've got our weapon over here, so we've got M4A1 O2, which is the main file, this is the bit that we need. I'm not going to worry about the silencer and how it's come apart, it's not really too much of an issue, but the important bit is that I've got my weapon here. Now moving on, I'm going to quickly create a material for this weapon using my diffuse texture. So I'm going to right click my diffuse, create material, and just leave the name as it is. Press enter to open it up. And then from here, I'm going to add a couple of constants in to make this weapon look a little bit better. So the first constant I'm going to have is into the metallic. So this, if I set it to 1, is going to give our weapon a more metallic feel. And then with my roughness, I am going to hook up another constant into there. And I'm going to set this to 0.2. And this is going to make it shiny and more metallic looking. Now what I'm also going to do is a little bit of a cheat to make sure this looks nice and light, which is hook up the emissive into the diffuse. So it allows me to keep all my reflections without it looking dark, and it's just going to give it this really nice look. Now this isn't the best way of doing things as it will glow in the dark, but if you guys have a proper weapon, proper textures and all of that good stuff, you are going to be all good. So I've got my material here, let's open up my weapon skeletal mesh and just assign this. So select your material and then just chuck it in just like that. Give it a couple of seconds to compile the shaders and afterwards we are going to have a really good looking weapon and I like that, it looks good. So if I drag this into my scene, you're going to see how it looks. So if I drag this in, scale it up, and then just place it up just like this, you can start to see our weapon come to life. And if you press G, you can see this. Now, with the emissive, you can see it's not too dark, but it's kept the reflections, like I said, and it looks like a really high detailed, you know, model. So now moving on, let's go ahead and show you how we can turn this into a weapon pickup. Go into your blueprints and then in your main folder just create a new blueprint class with the type actor. Just give this the name um, M4A1 underscore pickup. And then if you open this up, add a component and the component type that we're after is skeletal mesh. And then for the skeletal mesh, just set this to your M4A1 underscore weapon O2. And what you also want to do with this is just center this into your blueprint asset. Compile this 
And then if you drag it into our scene, you can see we have now got um, a little item. Now bear in mind this has got no collision, not that you want it for a pickup item anyway, um, but it's also too small as well, so I'm going to need to scale this up a bit. So open up your pickup once again, go to your viewport, go to your skeletal mesh, and let's just set this up to maybe three times the original size, and we'll see how that looks in just a second. Center it again, compile it, and then if we take a look at it in our scene, that is about the right size for our M4A1 rifle. So now what we're going to do is set up the functionality for when you walk over it, it's going to allow you to change to your M4A1 you know, rifle by pressing 2 on your keyboard. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our third person character and then we are going to create a variable and this variable is going to be weapon to um, picked up and then this is just going to be a boolean just true or false and essentially what we want the player to do or the engine to do before it equips that weapon number two is run a check and that check is going to be to see whether or not weapon two is picked up true or false if it's true then we want it to go and do weapon selected to. If it's not, we don't want it to do anything, so we want it to stay on the current weapon. So now, so long as the default value is untrue, and we press play, and press two on our keyboard, it's not going to let me change my weapon. So what I'm gonna do is when you walk over this rifle here, I'm gonna tell it to remove itself, and then, tell it to change that variable to true so that we can switch to this. So open up our M4A1 pickup, and then on begin overlap with cast to third person character, we are going to tell this to set weapon to picked up to true. Just like that and hook it up. And also what I'm gonna do is destroy actor so it disappears as well once you walk into it. So now if we press play and then run up to it, it should disappear. Now it hasn't and that's probably because there's no collision on the weapon. Select your skeletal mesh, go all the way down and try and find your collision and change it from col uh, no collision to overlap all. Hit compile and this time round it should work. So run up to it and it still hasn't disappeared. Um, <laughs> so we need to figure out why that is. There's probably a good reason for that and that's because it's a skeletal mesh. So what I'm also going to do, just so that we have collision with it, is if I go into my weapons folder and then if I open up my main skeletal mesh, usually there's some settings down here which cover collision, um, so I'm just going to quickly look for those. If not, I'm also going to create a second version of this mesh, which is, you know, static, so it has the collision, because we don't particularly need the pickup one to be moving. So I can't, just seem, I can't seem to find the settings in here, so what I'm going to do is go into my weapon folder again, and I'm going to drag and drop, and I'm going to import this time, not as a skeletal mesh, and just press import. And by doing this, in a second, we are going to get a version of this weapon without the, uh, you know, with collision. So open this up. And then if we go to collision at the top here and just set show complex collision or show simple collision, you can see we've now got collision. We're all good there. So what I'm going to do now is go back to my main blueprint that we just created for the M4A1 pickup and change the skeletal mesh, delete it and replace this with a static mesh. Once again, this time just type in M4A1 and just set this to weapon O2. Go to my viewport and we are just gonna scale it up again. So set this to free, free and free and then just center this just like that. And then, once I've done this, 
I've also got to make sure I go back into my weapon and if I decide not sorry and define the material that it uses as well so open this up set your material which should be over here diffuse material and we're all good and now if we go into our blueprints pick up item one last time and set the static mesh collision from block all to overlap all hit compile it should pick up and it should disappear so let's try this walk up to it and it's disappeared and now I can equip my M4A1 by pressing 2 on the keyboard without running up to that and picking it up when I press 2 it does absolutely nothing anyway guys that is just the beginning of our weapon system uh, weapon swapping system once again guys I hope you have enjoyed the video thanks for watching stay awesome keep creating your boy Virtus signing out this video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.